Hey you guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel. Peter likes books, because I do, because I love books. And I just got done doing my weekly review of crumble cookies <laughs> over on my review channel. And I probably have crumbs all over me. But anyway, so I was sitting in the parking lot when I was done, and I was like cleaning up and putting my stuff away. And do you ever think of things like late at night while you're laying in bed and you're like, okay, if I don't, if I don't like write this down, I will forget it. But like I try not to like get on my phone or go like write notes or anything after I've laid down for a while, right? So I was like, okay, when you start listening to your book tomorrow on Audible, you'll remember it. I was like trying to give myself like signals, you know, that you would remember this. So let me tell you what happened, okay? I, if you don't watch my vlog, you won't know this, but I'll give you the real short end of it, okay? I was talking to my neighbor across the street the other day, and um, it's a husband and wife. And so the husband was recommending this book to me, and he came out and he recommended to me, and we brought out this book that he had bought at Costco, and he said he read it in like two days, and he could have read it in one setting, it was so good. And it was Falling with, by T.J. Newman, which is my book for this, for my, August, my for Peter's Book Club. No, I haven't picked September's book yet. I don't know what I'm gonna pick yet. I might wait until September 1st, we'll see. So anyway, um, I might try to do it early. I just, I've gotta sit down and kind of figure out what book I'm gonna do. So anyway, so I'm talking to, he's like, oh, she loves thrillers too. Cause I said I like thrillers and mysteries. So I'm talking to his wife and she's like, yeah, I like thrillers. And I'm like, well, what do you read? And they had mentioned this guy to me. I can't remember who it was. But he's a guy that writes like, you know, like that Jason Bourne series. He doesn't write that one, but like uh, government, like espionage kind of mysteries. I don't love that stuff. I, well, I haven't really read a whole lot of it, so I don't know. Maybe I would love it, but I haven't really read a lot of it, so I don't, you know, go to that. But anyway, some series that this guy writes has like 15 books or 30 books or something out, and she loves his books. So we were talking about that. So then her husband goes inside, and she and I are just talking about books and whatever, and um, <laughs> she gets kind of this cute look on her face, and, and, I, and she goes, but you know what I really love? And I go, what? And she goes, and she kind of leans in and she whispers it, and she goes, like she didn't think I was gonna know what she was talking about, and she goes, cozy mysteries. And when I tell you that I literally screamed right there on the street, I was like, oh my God! I go, I love cozy mysteries too! We both about died. We started talking about cozy mysteries. And what was so funny was, she and I hadn't read the same cozy mysteries. So we traded, see, ideas. Now, I told her that she should read the Misfortune series, and I was telling her about the Dorinda Jones different series of Charlie Davidson and whatever. And she reads like, uh, there's so many cozy mysteries, you guys, that I have found. So anyway, she told me about this one that's by Maddie Day, and I think it's called The Cozy Store, The Country Store Mis Cozy Mysteries, Country Store Mysteries by Maddie Day, M-A-D-D-I-E-D-A-Y. -M -A -D -D and the first one is called Flip for Murder, okay? And it's about this woman, and her mom died. They're always the same. That's what I said to her. I go, oh, they're always the same, though, aren't they? Like, some woman that's just been betrayed, and then she has to move home. And, and she started laughing, and I was like, but I love the food references in it. She goes, well, then you'll love the Maddie Day books. And she goes, it takes place in southern Indiana. And I go, what? And she goes, yeah, it takes place in southern Indiana. And I was like, oh, my God. So, anyway, um, so... I downloaded this book. The, I, I have to tell you, I don't love the narrator, okay? If you're gonna listen to it on Audible. It's not, she's not bad, but like, do you ever like, you see a character in your head and then the narrator doesn't match the, char the character? That's kind of how I feel when I'm like listening to the narrator. Um, the character who is probably like my age in real life or maybe a little bit younger than me, the narrator for some reason makes her sound a lot older. I don't know why. So anyway, it's about this woman and she moves from California to Southern Indiana near Brown County, near uh, Nashville, Indiana, which is a true city in Indiana. It's like a small little cute town and um, and she opens this store this slash restaurant and she sells like vintage cookware and then she also has like breakfast and lunch and it's called pans and pancakes 
okay? And of course she went through this horrible divorce and all this kind of stuff, and she, her man betrayed her, and then her aunt lives in that town, who's like quite a bit older, and then her aunt has, it's very much like, you know, that she befriends these older ladies, and then she meets somebody the first day that she opens her store. She's been there for three years when the book starts, but she meets this guy, and they're gonna get romantically involved, like, right away. I don't know why. Like, I usually like the romance in these books, but the romance in this book just comes across as kind of cheesy to me. That's just the one thing I will say. But anyway, I'm real into this book. I really like it. So, I was sitting there last night in bed, and I was thinking about these cozy mysteries, and before I had come to bed, I had looked up something to see which one I had read I can't remember what I was looking up. I was looking up something to see if I had read any books by this one person that she had recommended, and I had read the first book. And I was like, oh, that's crazy that I read that first book. And it was the one about the woman that goes, she moves from like somewhere, she becomes like the project manager for a library, and then the library is haunted by the old librarian. Do you guys know the one I'm talking about? I read it a year ago in October when we were in Florida. I really liked that one. And I was like, oh, she recommended that to me. So anyway, it's hard to kind of keep track of some of these cozy mysteries because they're very, very similar storylines, a lot of them. And so I was like, I need to keep like in my notes app or type it up on like a document at home, I need to keep a list of all the series that I have read so that I can go in and see. Because like the Misfortune series, I can tell you I'm on book 20. I just finished book 20. You know, the ones that I read consistently, but there are a lot in there, like the Dorinda Jones, Charlie Davidson series, where I'll read one and then, oh, there was, oh no, she had recommended me this one about this woman that moved into... Oh, maybe it wasn't her. She actually, the crab bake one is the one that she recommended to me, and they're not on Audible, so I'm gonna have to order those in paperback. I got on Audible and I looked up cozy mystery series and the ones that were like highly the most recommended. And there was this one that came up and it has like 16 books. Oh, wait, oh no, 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 I don't, I just remembered. Uh, I was looking at coming soon on Audible, and there's a new book coming out in this series, and I was like, oh, this looks like a cozy mystery series. Maybe I could start this since there's so many books in the series. Well, I had already started it, and it was one that I didn't love. It wasn't horrible, but it was about this woman, and she opened, do you guys remember I talked about this? She opened a mystery bookstore in this town that had like a bunch of bookstores and then the woman across the street was murdered because she had these cookbooks. Okay, that was book one. I didn't love it, but I mean, I would much rather get further into like uh, the Charlie Davidson series or the Janet Ivanovich, Stephanie Plum series or whatever. But this is what I need from you because I'm gonna make two documents. I'm gonna make a document of all the books I've read so I can keep track of the series that I'm reading. Because I feel like if I don't do that, I'm never going to, like, you know. And the other thing is that these, like, the newest books are released. Some of these authors release, like, three books a year. And then I don't know. And then I'm, like, three books behind. The K.F. Breen books that I actually really like, even though they're kind of, like, fantasy paranormal. Um, I think she becomes a, a well, I don't want to say it in case you guys haven't read it. But they're, they're called, like, Magical Midlife Crisis. I like those books. I think they're really good. And they're really fast reads, too. And I do like the narrator on that one. Um, but like I have two books in that series that I haven't even read and I had forgotten completely all about it. So what I need from you guys, if you read cozies, <laughs> we just call them cozies, you know, it's like my friends that are on match.com. They don't read cozies. They should, cause if they read cozies and they would know that they don't need a man to solve all their problems. Okay. They just need to open a bed and breakfast in a small town and have lots of murder and mayhem. That's what they need in murder and mystery. But anyway, <laughs> my friends that are on like match.com, they just call it match. They, they're like, well, I was on match. I'm like, oh, okay, match. But anyway, so we just call them cozies, you know, if you're a lover of cozy mysteries. I can't believe that like, le I was not even introduced to cozy mysteries until a year ago. It has been less than a year since I've been reading cozy mysteries. Okay, what I need from you guys that read cozies is, and I'm sure because I'm gonna put in the title something like, I love cozy mysteries or something. I think I've already done this video and called it I love cozy mysteries, but can you guys give me recommendations? Because I'm gonna make up a sheet of like <laughs> books to read that are cozy mysteries. My dad used, I was laughing after I said sheet because my dad used to say this thing to me that he'd say when I was a kid. He'd say, say this five times fast. I slid a sheet, a sheet I slit, and on the slitted sheet I said. 
how do I say it now? A sheet I slit. I slit a sheet of sheet I slit and then slit a sheet I set. <laughs> if you say it real fast, you might say a dirty word. You don't want to do that, okay? 25 cents for the cuss jar. But anyway, um, I slit a sheet of sheet I slit and then slit a sheet I set. Woo! I did it! Oh my god, I'll have to call my dad and tell him he'll get such a kick out of that. Anyway, um, I'm so into the cozies. I need all of your recommendations so that I can make up my master list. And then at some point this this fall, I think what I'm gonna do after a year of having red cozies is I'm gonna make a, a, a video talking about like my top five favorite cozy series or whatever. I'm not an expert by any means. I mean, there are whole channels on BookTube that are dedicated to Cozy Mysteries. There are whole websites that are de dedicated to Cozy Mysteries. And this is kind of what's hard for me is, somebody recommended to me this website, and it's fantastic. It's this woman that, I mean, she's read every Cozy Mystery in the world. Um, but the weird thing about it was like, or the hard thing about it was when I went to it, there were so many books on it. I didn't know which ones were like the best ones. So don't be giving me your recommendations for kind of like three out of fives. I want five out of five cozies, okay? I want cozies that I cannot put down. I want cozies that are like the Misfortune series. I literally, like, I'm just like enthralled. I cannot wait till the next one comes out. That's what I need, <laughs> okay? So I'm counting on y'all. I need that, okay? So anyway, <laughs> here's to the cozies. May the best, may the cozy forever be in your, what was the saying from, uh, I was gonna say to kill a mockingbird. What's the saying from Hunger Games? May the odds forever be in your favor, or something like that. May the cozies forever be in your favor. I love you guys, I'll see you in my next video, bye.